Ooh, dredging the depths! Ah! The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. <laughs> Hold on, I need to move my mic. You're lying on... You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Is this a Wattpad? Welcome to Greater Marrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah, well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. Should we stay up late? I'm so- <laughs> why am I scared? So what's this? What do I- X to start fishing? Oh, okay. Oh no! Did I- woo! A blue mackerel. And then discard is L2. Okay. Yes! A cod! Oh shoot! He's big! That's a big boy. Wait, how do I... Ah! Oh, dang it. Dang it! <laughs> okay. And then we're gonna flip this one around this. Oh! 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 So is this what it is? It's just like a little peaceful, like, fishing game? I love the music. Okay. Oh no, wait. I wanna fish some more. What's this way? Can we dock on another island? Does that work? I have come! And they said not to stay out too late. The time is like going so fast. Oh! Oh! The door is locked. The workshop looks as though it hasn't been used in decades. Ooh, go inside. This is like a story. It's locked. Oh, okay. Alright. Guess it's my time to go. It's three o'clock. Is that- oh, shoot. Oh my god, guys. Do you remember where we came from? Cause I don't... Okay. Oh! Squid. What does that mean? What is the eyeball? What does that mean? Oh, it's almost midnight. What do I do? I dock, right? Why does the eyeball look like that? You step onto the dock at Greater Marrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel, yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So, to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt, and, in turn, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Our local fishmonger will appraise and purchase what you catch. He's open all hours. Off you go, then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. Okay. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. He's cute. Mm. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. What happened to the other one? He 
It takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different, but while you've still got a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. So let's see what you got. Okay. Do, how do I know, like, should I sell, can I sell all of them? Is it smart to keep one? There. The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger's store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Hmm. Look here. I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Okay. Oh, I only have $40 remaining? Nice. What do I do now? Oh! Oh, as you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up. Mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. <sighs> Take a look round. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install, so plan ahead. Can I go to bed? Sleep? Okay. I want to go on the boat! I'm not gonna lie, this is a little bit of a learning curve with the controls. It'd probably be better with keyboard, but until I get a new microphone, I want to try not to use my keyboard because it's a mechanical keyboard and it's just gonna rah, 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 all over your ears and it's not, I don't know what that was. <laughs> it's not gonna sound nice. Okay. I don't have the right equipment. What is this? It's a fish! This is like kind of calming. I'm enjoying it. I want to know, like, why they consider it a horror fishing game? I was really attracted to the idea. Because I love to fish. Dun, dun, dun. And I don't like scary games that much, but... <laughs> But I'm trying to get into it. I want to get more into scary games. I need to finish Outlast. I don't think this is going to be... I went into this completely blind. So I don't think this is going to be like Outlast where I'm getting chased by mutant fish. Although that would be super freaking dope. Um, I just don't have a feeling that that's this type... What is that? That's wood. I don't want to damage my boat. Is that going to damage my boat? Okay, so we'll place this one here, move this down, move this. Ooh, it's like fun, it's like a little puzzle. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, how do I want to go about this? Do I do it like that? Let's see. We've already been that way, so let's... Can we dock here? Oh, I can sleep here. Oh, my storage! What is this? Oh, I can put fish in my locker? That's gonna smell like garbage. No thanks. Um... Ooh, you enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques. The shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Hello, is that... No. Uh, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? Uh, I got a... I got a fish. Where do I get a... Where do I get trinkets from? What is this? What kind of fish is this? Uh, you don't have the right equipment. What does that mean? I feel like I'm definitely missing the entire point of this game. 
Like, I literally have no idea what I'm doing. I'm so confused. I feel- ah! Oh, God, rock. I feel like an old woman. Uh. Oh my God, there's that one gap. Where do I find a trinket from? Dun, 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 dun. I think we should go out tonight. I think we should go out to fish tonight. Is it like Stardew where we're gonna like pass out or something? Um, if we're out too late? I've had a special order come through from a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. Tell me about the order! They asked for one gold flounder and one great eel. Just bring them in when you have them. You'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow water and fish in order to catch these. The shipwright might be able to sort that out for you. Oh, oh, let me sell you my fish. Fish. Um. Ooh, okay, these aren't necessarily the best. Uh, did I pay off my debt? $26 remaining? What do you mean? Okay, let me see. Ooh, how much money do I- Ooh, I almost have enough money! Ooh, let's go fishing! <laughs> Am I understanding the point of this game? I feel like I'm definitely not. Oh, what is this? What is that? Rot? Do I need that to craft something? Hmm. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like panicking because I'm like, what if it's that 2 a.m. end time? Something slithers? Why? Oh! Infected. Hmm. Let's take a nap. Oh. So what do I do with it? Rises from the depths at night to feed or be fed upon. A sickly stench rises from your car. How do I get rid of it? Oh no, it's poisoning my fish! Oh no! Oh, oh it's poisoning my fish. Hmm. Can I do anything with rot? I don't know. Part of me is wondering if it's like the cow poop. Oh my god, what game is it? Oh, oh, actually it was um it was a game. Ah. I'll put up I'll put up a, a thing about what the game is, but it was basically it was basically a demo and you would make potions. I actually am really excited for the full game to come out. Um and I might make a video on that, but you basically made potions and you could use animal poop to like make different uh make different potions. So the yellow means that I can get gold, gold level fish, whatever that means. There we go. Everything is fitting so nicely. Hmm. I'm wondering how I'm supposed to get any trinkets, though. Ooh, this is fun and so peaceful. Not scary, although I kind of want to go out again. I wonder, like, if there is a time where I can pass out. So we're going to see if I can pass out. I just want to see, like, something slithered into my ship. I want to see if I can get something else to slither in my ship. That sounded strange, but I hope you get it. Okay, I ate all the fishies. Let's go, let's go. So let's open our encyclopedia. So these come out at night, shallow. Oh, <gasps> I love this because I love collecting species and games. Ooh, oh my God, this is so exciting. Okay, let's stock. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Uh, why are you here? 
Um, I've come to fish. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. What's got her panties in a twist? She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Okay, let me sell my fish. Okay. Oh. Have you seen that strange red light at night? It seemed to be rising from the west. Okay. Oh, I still have- Oh my god, I still have to pay off my debt! Ooh. Na, na, na. A red light coming from the west. Which west? That's so stupid. Oh, the west. Oh, the west! The west. What is that? You know, something I do wish about this game is that you had, like, a, like a third-person character. Like, you could get off the boat and then, like, do little do a little running around. I think that would be super cute. I think what I really need is a shallow fishing rod. Can I... <gasps> What's that? Hello? Morning of the second day of the honey... Oh, a note! Morning of the second day of the honeymoon, and our first day proper. Today we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of Greater Marrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. He renamed the boat last night. Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain. Ocean's Riches was a good name. I think he has prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see the basket half hidden. Stuffed under a blanket at the... I can see... I can see the basket half hidden. Stuffed under a blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. Aw, this is from 1927. Oh, so they're like... Oh, shoot. Oh my god, guys. I cannot see. Oh my god, wait. Which way did I... Oh, 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 oh. Oh no! I said I was gonna try and stay out anyway. I'm hearing noises. Oh, what's that? It's shining. No! Frick! Ooh. Okay. Okay. I have to get back. I have to get back of my ship. What if I drown? So much for saving up for a new fishing rod. I didn't even get any fish. God, can I sell this? Oh, God. Uh. Repair it. How do I? Yes, repair. Okay. The mayor? Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? Yeah. Sure, buddy. You gonna pay me? The mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's stripping slightly. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Oh, don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm nervous. Uh... Deliver the package, which is to the east. Okay, I think my boat is fixed now. Okay, let's head east. Okay, so this way is... This way is west, then this way is east. Is it here? Oh, uh, this looks pretty... Oh, oh, oh. Ugh. I thought I was going to damage my boat again. This looks pretty east to me. Hmm. What? A delivery? Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Yeah, nice and fresh. This'll do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. Yes! I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more out. 
You'll surely get more use out of it. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. Thanks. Can we romance people in this game? Alrighty. Let me get back so that I can go tell the mayor I mailed your sketchy package. Okay, but I'm wondering if this mayor is sketchy. Because the guy, I don't know. Like, what if he's like Loki the villain? What if he's the villain? What if he's evil? What if he's like Tom Nook and he's got this capitalist, I mean, I guess everything is capitalistic, but I don't know. He seems like a nice dude so far. I'm like way too suspicious about people. I don't want to be surprised if they come out and stab me in the back. <laughs> okay, let's sell the fish. <laughs> okay, my debt better be paid off as hell, dude. The mayor is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. Fantastic news. Thanks for partly... <sighs> Fantastic news. Thanks partly to your efforts. Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. Are you sure? Hmm. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. He might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up with the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. Well, I have no choice because I literally almost drowned, but thanks. Hi. Wait in line. Catch a shallow. Oh, I can get, I could have gotten a cheap rod! Ooh, okay. Then the dry dock. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, and even superior hulls. We'll need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. Lumber, metal, scraps, that sort of thing. Um, how do I get materials? There's plenty of decent materials around the coast, from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get at them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored, so don't worry if you only have half of what we need. Oh god. Oh! Oh, I love systems like these. Okay, yeah, I need to get, make more money and become rich. Understood. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue this series or if I'm gonna play it on my own. I guess I'll decide later. Um, but we're gonna end the episode here, and maybe next time if I record this, we'll start fishing for shallow fish? Uh, I'll just see how it turns out, and this video might not even go up. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.